Hey everyone, welcome back. Picked up an older camera uh, some time ago and uh, just had a chance to get a video on the go for this Rico. Uh, apparently it's a uh, budget uh, camera but certainly a very competent and capable camera but uh, not as expensive as some. Um, it's the KR5. I really like the old school. It reminds me of, uh, I guess what you, you could say is uh, 1970s, you know, circa 1970s equipment, you know, when everything was bulky and heavy and uh, relatively well built, probably better built than cameras today. Don't know a whole lot about this camera. Went online and discovered that, you know, it, it certainly looks to be, uh, by all intents and purposes, um, a good function camera that gives you good quality photos and some control here uh, through the lens manual manual controls so you know you can do multiple things with it I guess um, it takes a battery and I think it's in the bottom here it's a special I believe it's a special battery it's odd that the, the case, kind of you got to look at it upside down to see the word Rico because if you look at it that way it looks like something different but that's how the camera goes in. I don't know why it got printed backwards but anyway, I'm just going to go have a look at the, uh, take off this other leather casing here if I can. And it takes a um, small battery in here. Um, the battery that's in here, I, I can't get that open. Now I can't get it open, but I had it open. Uh, the battery that is in here, put this down, is a battery that I didn't think was available in the 1970s or thereabouts, whatever. So uh, I'm just going to go back in here now to, to verify what it is. Um, I picked up several cameras actually. I just wanted to uh, do this one because this was kind of the most interesting one that I see. There you have the, uh, the coins, the coin batteries. Not coin batteries, but uh, you know these peculiar looking batteries. 357s. I think I may have a couple of these. Um, yeah, it was kind of an interesting. It was kind of interesting to see that uh, those batteries in, in this older camera, I didn't think they were made back in that time, those types of batteries. Um, don't know a whole lot about the camera, uh, just, you know, because I'm not so much uh, of a camera buff, we'll say. But there is a way, I can't recall, but there is a way to get into this housing. I believe it's something to do with this here mechanism here. Possibly pulling up on it. And let's see. Yep. Let's actually film it. The roll has already been sent back into its chamber. So I just, um, just wanted to post this video. Uh, you know, just to see if I can get any interest from people that do collect cameras and hear some stories and comments and and stuff like that. Uh, the flash, I think, was probably something that's uh, gone its part of ways. Uh, I believe it was probably a physical thing that you could charge and put batteries in, so that's not uh, with the camera. And I do believe, yeah, the lens does come off. And I don't want to break anything here, but uh, pretty sure that's what does it. Yep. However, the little mechanism locks it. Oh, cool. Red on red to lock it, I guess. I see that point now. Point to point. There you go. Little red markings. So anyway, not going to, uh, again, once again, be, you know, uh, blabbering on about the camera. And uh, just interested in uh, getting some feedback on these uh, this camera. I have a few others, but they're newer, kind of newer cameras, and uh, probably, you know, uh, not as interesting as this. 
and I also picked up um, just in a box here uh, a very or, or a lot newer camera. Uh, it is the Sony CyberShot DSC H200. It's uh, everything complete in box. The camera was used, so you know it's not. I should say I shouldn't say new in box, but uh, used, but uh, used probably a few times and then stored. It's, it's like new, so uh, probably take that out some other day and have a look at that. I don't, I don't know if there'd be much interest in, uh, in the newer cameras, but like I, like I say, being a person that likes uh, old school things, uh, you know, antiques and stuff like that, that's the reason why I wanted to uh, drop in to YouTube today and just uh, touch on this camera and see if I can spike some interest and, you know, learn a bit more about it. Certainly, uh, very well made. That's, so that's the, uh, the KR5 Rico or Rico, I guess that's why you'd say it. And uh, yeah, please comment. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.